Hey all you Honda fans, we have a model here that was made by a brand called Konami, like the video game company. I think it's probably the same company, not sure. It didn't come in a box or anything like that, it just came loose on this stand, so I took it off already. It's probably an old model. It's, uh, let's see here, Konami, unfortunately, no, there's no year of manufacture on there, so I don't know how old this is. Oh well. Let's compare it to some photos here. So I'm gonna guess the wheels here are supposed to be these steel wheels. I couldn't find any other photographs that looked closer. <clears throat> the Prelude is a sport compact coupe. It was first uh, out in 1978 and it ran until 2001 across uh, five generations actually. It was competing against the Celica, the Silvia, and the Mitsubishi Eclipse. And this is the second generation Prelude we're looking at where it had pop-up headlights. And uh, this second generation was uh, started to be sold in 1982, I believe. And there's a 1.8 or 2 liter inline 4 up front, front wheel drive. And making, I think, 160 horsepower in the top trim in uh, certain countries. Alright, so that's really all I found out about it. I think the model looks pretty similar. This rear view looks very similar. Well, let's get over it with the... Uh, the dental pick here and see what's happening here in greater detail. So as I mentioned, I'm going to assume these are supposed to be stamped steel wheels. Maybe some black paint wash would have been nice, but nice details about the lug nuts there. Tires look pretty good. They're not super slab sided. This one's a little messed up, but uh, just got to mess with those off camera. Okay, uh, yeah, rolls pretty nice. No suspension on this one. This Konami, not all of them have, but yeah, this one's just rigid. Door handle looks pretty good. In this case, it's silver. I don't know if there's a certain... In certain countries, it was a different color. But those photographs I pulled up, they are body colored. Looks like there's a metallic gray down here. And then just black, matte black here for the rubber bumpers. So that's kind of weird. I don't know why. Okay. I would have guessed that maybe the black would carry all the way across. And again, the photos I pulled up, there is no black down here. So, yeah, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a, what country this prelude was sold in. You can clearly see there's a bunch of paint rash going on here. Because this model is probably pretty old. I would guess it's probably from 2006 at the newest. But maybe as early as 2003. Alright, just some black here as well for the window molding. And that seems alright. Pretty clear windows, maybe. Well, yeah, it's not bad for molded windows. So on the front, we have those pop-up headlights. And uh, I guess like the grill and the headlights are one piece of plastic and they painted a little silver. I guess that's supposed to be the Honda badge, although it's so small I can't really see much of it. Let's see if we uh, get it a little closer. I guess it's there. Mm, barely. I think it might be the texture of the grill that's really throwing it off, but it's a really nice texture here, really fine. A little orange paint there for those markers. And some body panel cut lines for the headlights there. More paint rash, unfortunately. Underneath, we got some rib details here in the casting. Whoop. And then uh, it's pretty much uh, riveted together. And standard uh, treads on the tires here. They're, they're shared across many other Konami. Some silver paint on the, the muffler tip there. Going back to the top here, we got some black paint here. And then, unfortunately, just no, a clear windshield wiper blade. No paint. Some silver paint there and black paint here for the window trim on the windshield. This side, we have a fuel filler door. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as the other side. See the fit and finish here of this light. See this separate plastic piece here, it's just not pushed in very well. Oh well. Okay, so the tail lights, they seem to be translucent plastic, orange and pinkish. Black here, Prelude's nice, Honda looks good, Honda badge looks good. Something XX, I'm sure this is like a trim level, it's probably the top one, trim level. 4WALB or AIB? four-wheel anti-lock brakes, if I had to guess. So, I think ABS was uh, quite a new technology back in 1982 
or the early 80s or it just wasn't really common on cars like this so I guess it's uh yeah all right white license plate just plain and the interior I just black details don't uh, see any dash instruments some Konami's do have colorful interiors uh, but this is not one of them unfortunately there's a lot of molded details as you can see but not much else Ooh, more paint rash there okay well it's an interesting one it's uh was that really high on my list of priorities to get a Honda Prelude but I like all these Konami cars so much that I'm probably going to try to get one of each casting. So even though I don't really like this car too much in real life, I, I kind of like Konami, the brand. So um, this is why I have it. Unfortunately, I don't really have a Celica or a Sylvia or Eclipse really from the 80s, I don't think. But I do have this Konami Celica from the late 70s to 1981, I think, this one. So it is possible. You would have seen these two cars pulling up next to each other at a street light or parked in a parking lot. Now this Konami actually does have suspension and it does have a colorful interior. You know, gray, brown steering wheel, black dashboard. It's simply a better model as far as the amount of technical details go and you know, the amount of work they put into it. But at least this Celica is a two-door coupe, so yeah, they do seem to be around the same size as well. I think I actually like the Celica more, even though it's an older older style. Uh, I think I like the classic cars more. Alright. But we're not talking about that car today. So if you have a Prelude, this is definitely a must-have for you guys. But if you like, uh, you know random Japanese cars you might want to look into getting this I got this guy off eBay I get most of my used models off eBay all the old ones alright well uh, I guess I'll see you until the next time